the lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at something called a migratory conflict, and that is when you have a consumer Google account which uses an email from your private domain. You might have set up a private domain for your business or for your hobby, and you set up a consumer Google account, perhaps to use Google Photos, Blogger, or in, in a lot of cases, YouTube. Now, when you then create a Google Workspace account using that same email domain, that private domain, you create what is called a migratory conflict. And there are um, articles, and I will give you the links down below, which should assist you in migrating or transferring the assets or, or the, 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 the workflow or, or basically the account from one, the consumer Google account, to the um, Google Workspace account. Because as you can imagine, you can't really have two Google accounts uh, one that you pay for and the, and the consumer one, which is free, which use the same email address. Google accounts, just like email addresses, must be unique. So because of this conflict and because of the fact that it's it's not an entirely um, sensible or, or an expected um, process that people go through, there are... The, there is the need basically to, to use these particular tools. So as I say, I will give you the link for this below and I ask that you read through this because there is actually something called a transfer tool which will allow the admin, and I think you have to be a super admin, um, to migrate or to move the user from having a consumer Google account to actually being a fully functioning user of a Google Workspace account with the same email. The issues that arise for users is that, let's say you do um, have a consumer Google account using that private domain email that you set up 10 years ago for your YouTube channel, and then suddenly you decide that, you no, know, you don't want to, uh, you want to use Google Workspace to, to offer up your, um, your email services for you. Um, perhaps your work has moved from you know, a private domain to, to actually using that private domain on Google Workspace. As Google Workspace grows and becomes more interesting to companies, that certainly would be the case. And the consumer Google account will have to be renamed by Google. And I'm going to give you the this link to the troubleshooter as well, because this particular one here, please use the, this one as well. I don't know what a conflicting account is. Read through that. But let's actually have a look at this one here, because that is the one I think where most of the confusion um, happens. And that is because you have this conflicting account, you are going to have created what I call a gtemp account. So basically the the email address is, is the first part is the is the the prefix basically of the the gtemp account email account um, where the at symbol is replaced with a percentage symbol as as you can see here and then followed by at gtempaccount.com where as you can see the the percentage sign replaces the original at sim, um, symbol now that will give you access to the so-called sidelined or renamed Google account, consumer Google account, just long enough for you to be able to transfer assets or to download content from that consumer Google account that has been renamed in order that you can then use it properly with the new Google Workspace email or rather the Google Workspace account using your original email. I know it reads confusing, but if you take the time to read through these two um, articles, or rather the, the um, you read through this article and then use the tool to help you make sense of it all, that should get you quite a long ways to resolving this issue. If you have any further issues with this, do um do as they suggest and post in the help community. 
if it's specifically about YouTube, you probably would be best to um, post in the YouTube community where product experts like myself who have had some, some experience with, I suppose, um, transferring ownership from from a, a regular consumer account to a Google Workspace account would be able to assist you. Otherwise, do post in the Google Workspace community. Hopefully this helps you. Thank you for listening and goodbye.